My name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you in an inside and outside systems tour of this 2015 Toyota Prius plug-in. This is a plug-in Prius with California Green HOV stickers and it offers you special advantage. There are only 85,000 vehicles in California authorized by the state to display the green HOV stickers. These little green stickers are a really big deal on these Prius because you can't get them anymore for you can go buy plug-in vehicle but if it doesn't have a sticker you're not going to be able to get the sticker. The state law only allowed 85,000 vehicles to get those stickers and unless the state adds more stickers if you want them you have to buy the car that has them already. So owners that go out and buy new plug-in hybrids are out of luck. Or if you buy a used plug-in hybrid that does not have the stickers, you're still out of luck. You have to buy the plug-in that has the stickers and you get the stickers that come along with it. Uh, the way it works, those stickers are assigned by VIN numbers to specific cars. So if somebody comes along and steals the sticker, you can replace them if you have the vehicle that they were assigned to but you can't take those stickers and go stick them on another car. Uh, the state has authorized the 85,000 vehicles and once the 85,000 number was hit back in December of 2015, you can't get them anymore. So I'm going on and on about the stickers, I'm going on about the car as well. This is the Prius plug-in, so it's a dual fuel vehicle. Uh, it's got the LED daytime running lights. We got the blinkies on right now. This is a very clean 2015. On a separate video, I'm going to talk about the body condition, which is cosmetically excellent. It's got new tires on it. All four tires are new, uh, Firestone tires. And we're going to go take a look to talk about some of the features. Before we get, get in, I'm going to provide you with two keys. I have the one right here to show you. These are four button keys. They have an AC button. And so these have a remote start air conditioning. So let's say you run in the bank or fast food or post office, wherever, you want to go cool the car be, uh, or leave the AC running, you hit the AC button and it stays running or if you want to pre-cool the car before you come out, you hit that AC button. Because it is a plug-in hybrid, if it's connected to power, uh, it'll run the AC off your home power. Um, it's a very clean car. This is a 2015, so it's what, a year old? This is 2016 now, so uh, there is no 2016 plug-in hybrid, so it, when you want new, this is as new as you get. It does have the charging cord, which stashes in the back here. You don't have to charge it. If you want to charge it, it's better to charge it, but you never have to charge it. There is a charging outlet right here. You just plug the connector. Let me show you that. The outlet right here plugs in there. The other end plugs in a regular outlet like in your garage. Just normal extension cord outlet. Nothing special. Because this is the Prius plug-in, it has a modest size battery so it'll charge the car from a dead plug-in battery in only three hours on a regular outlet. If you have the fast charger, it'll charge it in an hour and a half. That's a lot faster than any of the other plug-in vehicles you can buy. It's the fastest charging plug-in you can get that I'm aware of. Okay, you don't have to charge it. You just put gas. The gas goes in over here. Just add fuel in the fuel filler. And you never have to charge it. Charging is an advantage, not a disadvantage with this car. Because this is just a regular Prius. You know, the same engine same technology as any Prius except you have a larger battery that if you want you can charge. Without charging it you can expect to get about 51 miles per gallon just like a regular Prius. If you do charge it I mean you can show off. Right now we're averaging I just reset the system but I'm going to show what it shows here on the dash. It shows over 8.6 miles we're getting 999 miles per gallon. I gotta turn the AC to lowest setting. 
999 miles per gallon with a six mile per hour average. That's because I just reset it. Realistically, you have to think of this as a dual fuel. Since I reset it, I haven't used any gas. I'm driving all around town for eight, nine miles and I haven't used any gas. Um, right now the battery shows it can go 8.5 additional miles on pure electric. Normally this car, you don't have to think about it. You just drive it around like a normal car. You don't have to do anything fancy. Just drive and it responds. It's a conservative fuel saving car, but it doesn't have to be. It has a little button right here on the on the dashboard here. You've got different driving modes, and I'm going to include videos on my listings about that. But you've got power mode. If you use power mode, it completely recalibrates the entire transmission, throttle response, and everything. It's a very responsive car when you're driving in power mode. All your super fuel saving goes out the window when you go to power mode. It's it's like get out of my way. I miss my BMW. I got to get going mode. Okay, very different car when you're in power mode. If you want to be super cheap and save the maximum fuel, you've also got an eco mode right here. You, you can put it in eco mode and it'll throttle back the AC capabilities and, and put everything in maximum economy mode. That's about the engine and the transmission, but it's a very powerful car. It has a 1.8 engine and almost double the capacity from the electric motor, so it's very fast. Um, it's not high performance V6 power or V8 power, but it's very fast. It's not like a, the old Corollas of yesteryear. It's a pretty strong car. In any case, going on to other systems, so we don't run on about that. We're going to look at this as the navigation system. You have live traffic display, so I'm zoomed out and we can see red, green, and yellow spots on the freeway. Uh, that shows your traffic speeds. I'm getting that for free from the internet through my cell phone data plan. I'm looking at live traffic and then of course you can zoom in and enlarge that. And um, see so you got yellow right there, green, a couple red spots here and there. If we go towards LA it gets even crazier. Um, but uh, it's a very good navigation system, it has live traffic. But you get more than just navigation when you go with the touchscreen. First of all, here's an iPhone. The screen is much larger than the iPhone screen. Now I'm connected here for data, but I'm also connected for um, Bluetooth. So I've disconnected my wires. And yet I have my music. So from my phone here, I'm playing music. And I can fast forward to the next song. It's playing wireless via Bluetooth. Go to the audio tab and you see we've got our music playing right there. I can fast forward to the next song. You've even got the cover art and everything that displays right there so you can keep track of what's playing. So you've got Bluetooth music, but see the trick of the Bluetooth is you don't have to mess with your phone. You've got everything right here, so instead of fiddling with the phone, you hit the button on the steering wheel. And then you can fast forward to the next song. You can operate everything. You can even operate it by voice command. And voice command goes on. You can enter by voice command at a destination for your navigation, for example, just like you could with your phone. but. It's against a lot to be fiddling with your phones in most states now. So you've got everything right here. Going on in navigation, you just push this button over here. You say, uh, destination California. And then the navigation processes that request. And then, it's a, and then you say, house number like 123 Main Los Angeles. And the navigation will navigate you there. It's very simple. Um, Bluetooth is for music but it's also for phone so you have a little phone button here and it's not as simple as just taking calls you've got your whole call history here missed calls dialed calls received calls so let's say your wife or husband or boss whoever just call your buddy just called you 
and you want to call them back okay their phone information is right here so you've got all calls missed calls received calls and dialed calls so you can go to missed calls hey somebody you just missed their call and then the call, phone number is coming up received calls you call somebody back you got the numbers right there so I can call uh, these people back and I just touch who I want to select on the phone uh, dial pad there and without messing with your phone you got your call history right there and because it's Bluetooth it'll import your phone book as well so your your friends and family every all the numbers from your phone book will be imported and they display right here works really good if you look at older cars they said oh yeah we have Bluetooth and they had the little buttons here but without a touch screen Bluetooth on the car is mostly worthless you have to have the touch screen in the nice menus such as this car has um, there's a lot of apps in here if I have connected for my data plan you can access fuel prices iHeartRadio all kinds of things you can also get iHeart with Bluetooth streaming uh, traffic information so you want to punch in your home punch in work go back and forth you always enter the destination in your navigation so you can get the traffic updates on the way and get rerouted if there's a faster route you never know when there's going to be a closed freeway that's a really big deal if you live in the city area going on with other features this has the color backup camera so you see we're in reverse there and as I back up here I can judge my distance to objects there's a big container and then I can get really close to that object very helpful it does beep in reverse I believe you can turn the beeper off it's not is a uh, hacking in through the software but the car is very quiet so it does beep in reverse to let you know so you don't accidentally run over yourself this car is totally silent if the AC is off you like hear almost nothing it's completely quiet car but it's automatic so if I jump on the gas the engine will start automatically and start running if you get on on a freezing cold day and you have the climate control set for 72 um, the engine is going to come on and run the heater it's all automatic you don't have to think about anything you just drive like a normal car only unlike a normal car this will on a, on a bad day it'll get 51 miles per gallon and on a good day like today we're showing 999 miles per gallon a lot of people get confused over these cars you have to think of this as a dual fuel vehicle with a modest size battery it only charges it only takes one and a half to three hours to charge a de fully depleted battery okay you never have to charge it but if you do charge it it only takes one and a half to three hours so for example if you jump in the car and you're making a hundred mile commute you're gonna go 10 to 15 miles on pure electric and the rest is gonna be gas so on a hundred mile commute 10 to 15 percent of your driving is on electric and 80, 85 to 90 is on gas so your gas mileage is going to adjust accordingly these these can get a thousand miles per gallon but not on a hundred mile commute EPA says 95 estimated but your mileage will vary, vary depending on which fuel you use more take short trips around town and go to the post office go to the fast food go to the movie theater and every time you come home and you charge it you might never use any gas for even months making a lot of short trips like that but if you go on a hundred mile commute you're going to be using gas for most of the trip it's still a Prius hybrid so on a bad day it's still going to get that 51 miles per gallon but with charging you'll get a lot more based on how much charging you do if you think of the basic math worst case scenario 10 miles a day at minimum 365 days a year if you charge it once a day that's 3,000 uh, to 4,000 miles a year of pure electric driving I don't know how many miles you drive but it depends and it will vary based on those differences it's a very clean car we take a look at the inside the rear seats fold down I'm going to demonstrate that because a lot of people don't understand that it has a smart key system so if I get out and I have the key in my pocket turn off the car 
I just hit that to lock it if I have the key in my pocket, which I don't. I didn't. I left it on the seat. So get out with the key, and now we can lock it. See, it's a smart key system, so if you lock the key in the car, it prevents locking the key in the car by using the, the system. Um, Prius plugins have smart key on three doors, just like the Prius 4 and 5. You can unlock it from the trunk. You can fold the rear seat, these headrests. Um, these go up, and then your seats fold forward like so. And as you see, I can do this one-handed. Two hands makes it even easier. Now you're ready to haul cargo. You can go down to the mall or the furniture store and bring home a dresser or even a small mattress. Go to make a run to Home Depot. Put a kayak in here. These seats actually slide forward and then recline like so and you can remove the headrest and then you have even more cargo capability. That's the advantage of a hatchback. And as I wrap up this video, it's very clean. Cosmetically, it's very clean. And I'm going to show the additional information in a separate video just on condition. Mike Johnson, give me a call, 951-681-2101. Thank you.